What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. It's been a massive week for Bitcoin, a massive week for crypto. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I'm bringing you guys data, alpha, knowledge, tutorials, everything crypto. As you can see, the Bitcoin halving is literally three days away. This is something set to be another monumental catalyst in my opinion. I have a video where I go into the history, data, statistics, and my prediction. I'll link that in the description. Be sure to check it out. But lots of crazy stuff about to go on in the crypto realm. Today I wanted to talk about a newer chain that is seeing a lot of growth. And I think that this chain has similar potential to base chain as far as how much they can onboard users. And in crypto, how many people you can onboard ultimately determines your success. So as you can probably tell by the title of the video, we are going to be talking about the open network or TUN. TUN stands for the open network. Now the TUN network is really optimized to be able to host a lot of applications at scale. Really its primary goal was to create a network that could handle lots of transactions and host a variety of applications while handling millions of transactions per second, all from the power of your phone or wherever you have access to Telegram. Now TUN was initially conceived by two people called the Durov brothers. Now these brothers were also the founders of the super popular messaging app, Telegram. Now the development of TUN has always been to leverage Telegram's user base as well as platform to integrate Web3 into Telegram. Now let's just get a brief overview of TUN on the daily. As you can see, super bullish looking chart, put the RSI on. RSIs are at the bottom. That's always a good move for an upward move. As you can see, definitely in price discovery. Taking a look at TUN's metrics, actually makes me pretty bullish. Um, as you can see, accounts created has been spiking, market cap increasing, transactions going up, everything is looking good here. Definitely bullish on the initial view of the charts for sure. Here's a pretty good tweet that I like. The ton coin has risen over 44% in a week. Ton is now the eighth largest cryptocurrency. So it's, I mean, it's definitely gaining traction. People are starting to see this. Similar to Base and Coinbase, Ton has a significant onboarding opportunity through Telegram. So boom, right here. Telegram has 800 million monthly active users as of 2023. That's insane. So the development of Ton actually started in 2017 and it was always designed to complement telegrams products through the messaging app so their whole idea was to incorporate cryptocurrency payments directly into the telegram interface appearing to be a seamless experience to users now ton did experience a lot of legal issues when first coming into development with the us and regulatory issues being associated with telegram so so telegram actually announced its discontinuation with development of the network back in may of 2020 but the open source nature of the product actually kept Ton in development outside of Telegram, essentially. So essentially, Ton was developed by Telegram. They stepped off. They got further developed into a fully functioning, working ecosystem. And it is now integrated into the Telegram app which is all really super cool. There's a lot of apps. It's very, it feels very smartphone app based, which is very different from other ecosystems that are purely DeFi, trading perpetuals, you know, meme coins. This is more of social funny. Um, you can stake your tokens, you know, you can trade perpetuals on some. It's definitely very interesting. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first, we're going to get into the architecture of Ton. They, they actually use a combination of a master chain, work chains, and then shard chains to facilitate all of its operations. And now this is a really effective way to do things. It definitely increases its scalability and speeds. And it's broken down into, like I said, three chains, the master chain, which the master chain stores things like the root hash of the entire blockchain, anchoring the entire network's data integrity. It'll manage the global consensus and the inclusion of new blocks from the work chains, as well as the shard chains. So essentially it's just like the main trunk of the tree. Now next is work chain. These are distinct blockchains that operate under the umbrella of TUN. They allow for diversification of applications and currencies within the TUN ecosystem. Work chains are also designed to be interoperable, meaning they can communicate cross-chain 
with applications and cryptocurrencies, which is huge. And then last, they have shard chains, which these are subsets of the work chain. And these are essentially designed to just enhance the scalability overall, once again, by having each shard chain handle its own portion of a transaction, which will reduce the load for any of the one chains by themselves, ultimately increasing the volume that they can handle and just overall boosting its scalability. I like this tweet here as well. I'm bullish on time because the other day I onboarded my non-crypto friend into setting up a Telegram wallet and buying a meme coin. It took him less than five minutes and he was also very pleased with the experience. Um, I don't know, this just goes to show, and I mean, personally from actually using it on Telegram, it is really easy to use. And that is gonna be huge for the mainstream even thinking about adopting cryptocurrency is it can't feel super web three like and i think they really did pretty well with making sure that um, this platform doesn't feel super hard to use so in a nutshell ton represents a bunch of advanced technology for having maximum scalability to build applications decentralized apps handle loads of features loads of transactions keeping the fees low the open network has a pretty strong community as well huge massive onboarding potential as well as its wide adoption across multiple sectors tons user friendliness and good experience, really just all of this just set it in a great position to do very well in this cycle. With the Bitcoin having being three days away and knowing that a bunch of Bitcoin profit liquidity is going to roll into all of the altcoins like Ton, I think Ton is just primed to do very well. So now that we know a little bit about the open network, let's actually dive into the ecosystem and the apps because honestly, it's very interesting. So here's a diagram, as you can see, loads of apps there's definitely more than just these as you can see this was updated in 2023 but we are going to dig into my favorites so here's the ton app you can see all of the application categories so obviously you can access a wide variety of central exchanges this is good for buying spot trading new coins etc they have a lot of really easy to use staking protocols so as you can see here, a little over 4% APY. This is a liquid staking protocol, so you can stake here and restake in another protocol. Hippo Finance was another one. As you can see, you can stake here and receive. You can receive a little more APY. They do generate their revenue through their staking fees. My personal favorite was the Storm Trade. This is a perpetual DEX. They do have a web app, which I'm gonna see if it loads. So here we go, it's a really clean interface to be able to train uh, and leverage perpetuals. You can long and short the market. You can do this for Solana, Litecoin, Doge, XRP, ETH, Bitcoin, Ton, Notcoin, which I actually, Notcoin was this sort of game that was in Telegram that I actually participated in. And it was on your app and you just tapped to mine and every tap you know, you got a point and you can update it. I did it for, I did it really hard for about a week and a half, two weeks. And it looks like this is the pre-market trading for Notcoin. So yeah, I really like Storm Trade. They as well have $5.4 million locked. They've had $4.8 million in volume. That's pretty impressive. And you can trade this all straight on the Telegram app as well, right on your phone, which is really cool. Another one that I liked was Ion Finance. As you can see, really clean yeah this one's pretty cool now where the most applications actually are found these utilities and you know these are a bunch of tools that were made to integrate into your telegram app so for example here's one called stonks and this is actually a sniping bot i don't know they just have a bunch of really cool applications that you really wouldn't think about here's all of the wallets i would personally use this one the ton wallet as you can see integrates straight into the Telegram app. And here is your explorers. As you can see, a lot of these don't even have a website and this is because they are literally directly integrated into Telegram. As you can see, you can explore all of the assets in real time. They also have a bunch of gambling games. So here's a gambling site called Whale. So this looks like this is the number one online casino and sports book for um, the Time Network, really cool. You can do all of this straight from your phone, which again, is just really easy. There's things called Jettons, which are essentially meme coins on the Ton blockchain. So here's the resistance dog. This seems to be the number one meme coin on Ton. 
So yeah, if you are bullish on the ton ecosystem, definitely pick up Resistance Dog as this is the number one meme coin on the chain. So yeah, I mean, they they really just have a bunch of applications that you can use and use crypto with. There's a lot of social communities. Their development hub is full of tools, all integrated into the app. They also have a bunch of games. I don't know, just a lot of these games you can play and earn money for. I don't know, there's a lot of them to go through. Really, you just have to get on here for yourself and explore all of them to find what you really like. But definitely a huge ecosystem full of potential. I really like the seamless onboarding process. I can just really see Ton becoming a superior blockchain in this next cycle due to its onboarding process and seamless user experience. This is super important when it comes to retail and that's basically what crypto is waiting for is the massive, massive onboarding of retail people and the everyday person. Now this was more of a breakdown on Ton itself as well as an overview of the ecosystem. I may make a video going deeper into the ecosystem and you know, pick out some of my favorite projects and give a little more in-depth background, but. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Again, I will have the link to the other video in the description. Um, that is it for today's video. I hope you learned something. Can't wait to see you on my next video. So stay tuned and do one thing for me. Stay DJ'd.